has going. Okay, so very, very quick one. How to pump your self-esteem. So, life can have a lot of ups and downs. So sometimes what happens is... So some event may happen, somebody says something, and your balloon basically deflates. So that's your self-esteem. You start feeling bad about yourself, right? So what things can bring you back? So one thing I do is I got it from Brian Tracy. He is a success guru. So you, ju you can just say, I love myself, right? I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. And that's kind of you pumping the air back into the balloon. So you just say, I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. And then it's kind of like every time you say, I love myself, you pump the balloon and then you get back on your feet. The second thing that is very, very good is to keep a track record of your achievements. I got it from uh, David Goggins, Can't Hurt Me. So he was talking about the cookie jar. So the cookie jar is, he has an actual jar where it has pieces of paper in it of all of his accomplishments. So he can just reach out into the cookie jar and look at the accomplishment and he can say, yep, I did it. I'm an absolute rock star. So you need to remind yourself that you are awesome and that you love yourself. And that's how you do it. Okay. So I would strongly encourage you to have a cookie jar where you just anything you accomplish in life, just write it down and then look back over it. And then you can just remind yourself of how awesome you are. Now, if you don't have a accomplishments in life, that tells you you need to work on yourself okay so that's that's one thing the second thing is the second thing is uh, also brian tracy stuff is just say i do not give a damn what does anyone on the face of this galaxy thinks about me so that's the second one so one is i love myself and second one i do not give a damn what does anyone on the face of this galaxy thinks about me so just repeat them they're like affirmations i don't know if you ever heard what affirmation is affirmations is like a um let me just um uh, think about it one sec okay so there is a thing that is called an ant it's called automatic negative thought automatic negative thoughts right so you want to in your life decrease the population of ants inside of your head so affirmations are things well let me affir, affirmation so affirmations are kind of like think of your 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 brain is like a code database it has a lot of different neurons in it it has a lot of nodes in it and there is electricity flowing around the brain so that's how uh, when you think i'm talking about when you think right so every single node has information in it so when you think about something uh, your electron goes into that node and then um, you hear it in your head right so think about and is a negative node inside of your head so you need to replace it with something that is more positive and affirmations is the way to do that so it's basically repetition of thought so for example let's say somebody whatever tells you something negative and it's stuck in your head every time you hear this thought just repeat 10 times why is it not true and then that's it and then over time that node inside of your brain is gonna get replaced so think about it as an excel spreadsheet one second yeah, so think about every cell is like is like a brain, right? That's 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 your brain is kind of like it has cells in it, right? So think about uh, in here somebody told you, I don't know, you are bad at maths. Whoops. For no reason whatsoever, somebody tells you, oh, you're bad at maths, okay? But you yourself want to be good at maths, so. One is you need to find evidence why you're good at maths, right? So you need to have physical evidence. That's the easiest way to convince yourself. And two, 
when that thought pops up, you want to replace it with no, I'm not because blah, blah, blah. And then over time, what's going to happen is this node is going to be replaced with um, no, I am not because X, Y, Z. This comes from cookie jar. Cookie jar, right? And then over time, what's going to happen is you can just start saying, I am good at maths because X, Y, Z. So do you see how somebody told you some kind of nonsense? You have evidence to suggest that this is false and then you can just replace it with this and then this node well, let me just write it out it used to be in here it was red and now you basically over time as you keep doing this per day it's going to become green so you just replace it like this but this is from affirmations in the bit of exercise now one of the things that uh, I used to do is again Brian Tracy stuff is write them out just write out all the ants which are called ants automatic negative thoughts and then just replace them now not naturally in life sometimes your self-esteem goes down so you can just say I love myself I love myself I love myself I love myself I really 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 love myself right and again cookie jar is a very good reminder of why you are an awesome person um I think, I don't remember which celebrity says it, said it, but it was a lady, definitely. Maybe it was Lady Gaga, but bottom line, uh, she said that you go to bed with yourself every single day, so you need to make sure that this person is a good person. That's something that I think scammers in life struggle with, because when they look in the mirror, they look at themselves and they say, holy shit, just that person is not a good person. Do you know what I'm saying? And leaving, but they are that person. So leaving with that type of a person, identifying that this is what you've done is very, very difficult. And um, Shakespeare had a very, very good, I think it's called Macbeth. Macbeth. One second. Yeah. So it's Macbeth, basically. It's basically Game of Thrones. But... He wrote the play, and you studied during your English exams. There's King Lear, and then there's Macbeth, I think. It's pretty, pretty good. You will see the psychological effects of people who... Long story short, basically, in Macbeth, uh, the two people, they sought a lot of power, so they basically murdered their loved ones, relatives to accomplish this power and you will see this uh, psychological effects of how their life degradates over time now they obviously get into power but then you see that they're just like being eaten from the inside so which begs which like which begs the question why do you need this power if the, it has such a negative effect on you so you see a lot of scammers i don't know they get their planes they get their whatever but then you have to understand how many skeletons are in the closet. And this is something that they cannot lie to themselves about. Now, there are sociopaths. That's what I'm saying, is that some people are just sociopaths. They need physical, um, well, they need psychological treatment. Because sometimes what they do is so inhuman and they are okay with it. To me, that signals that the person is just not okay in the head. Right, so what I'm saying is... You need to make sure that you love yourself and that you are an awesome person. And you need to find evidence to reaffirm why that is. Right? So any type of accomplishment, any type of good deed needs to go and you need to into your cookie jar and you need to remind yourself. And then you can keep your self-esteem very, very high. And when it deflates, you can go and pump yourself. Just say, I love myself. This is why I'm awesome. X, Y, Z and keep your population of ants down right automatic negative thoughts yeah and the second concept is of course why you should not care what people think is because again you know yourself the best in life so when somebody tells you that you're bad at maths or whatever they tell you some nonsense you have to understand that they are operating in a very limited 
environment where they only well one sec like think about a decision making template so on one side a i don't know some kind of dude is criticizing you and he says you are bad at maths because so let's use one of my decision making tools which is uh, pros and cons right benjamin franklin so am i good at maths all right so one person says you are bad at maths because uh, because YouTube commenter said I summed up, I don't know, 6 plus 5 as, 6 plus 5 is what, 11? I said it was 12. I mean, manual calculations, like, what is the weight? Um, is 6 plus 5? Yeah, it is. One second. Because I don't do maths in my head at all, almost. Because it's such a bad practice, because uh, prone to error, you know? Okay, what is the weight of a person on YouTube? Point one. Now, I got A1 in higher level maths in my high school. Right, so high school, A1. What, what is the weight of that? That's 100 for sure. All of my subjects I did in, high, in college that I've ever done, I've never gotten less than 93%. So you can say that I'm mathematically exceptionally gifted. Right, so college, never less than 93% in math subjects. 200, right, okay. We can, we can keep going, but I just don't wanna make the video too long. Okay, so we can look at the weight uh, total weight of this versus total weight of this and we can see clearly that I can say that I am objectively Definitely good at maths Now why is it important not to care? What do other people think about you? That's because this person made the judgment based on Me not being able to sum up six plus five in my head. Do you understand? So in that instance he only has one instance of me performing math. Whereas you throughout your life know yourself better and you have a lot more examples where you can say, hold on a sec, I'm actually good at maths, here is why. Do you understand? And if you were to just make a video of every single time that you were super good at maths, even that person is going to probably, well, on YouTube, they're probably gonna still say that you're shit at maths because they're good, good kids, but they're just internet trolls, so forget about them, right? But I'm talking about objectively smart person is going to say, well, based on this, I can definitely agree with you that you are, in fact, good at maths. Do you understand? That's because other people simply do not possess enough information to make an accurate decision about you. So this is why if what other people say is kind of to some extent not that accurate because they simply do not possess enough think about it as a court right as a court and there is a judge the judging the judge is the system this system is a judge so you feed the information into it you say okay this is the instance why i'm bad at maths and this is the instance why i'm good at maths and then now notice Notice the symbol for um, the court systems in the world. Every single world will have this symbol. Why is it blind? Because it has no bias. Do you understand? It's very, very objective. It cannot look at a person and say, that person has a good appearance, so the weight of the arguments is higher than a person who has poor appearance. No, the judgment system is blind, right? It only weights, that's why you have the weights, so it only uh, looks at facts, objective facts and figures, weight them up, and then see which one, guilty or not guilty. Do you understand? So this is, there is always the guilty side, and then there is the not guilty side. So we can say that, okay, good at maths, good at maths, or bad at maths. Okay? We gather the evidence, we feed it into the system, and then we make a conclusion. 
So then when next time somebody comes up to you and they say, hey, you're bad at maths, you can say, why do you think so? And he will tell you, oh, because you couldn't do 6 plus, you said it was 12. Plus. Okay, I was doing it in my head, I don't really do it. Not a good practice. But here is, I'll tell you why I'm good at maths. Do you understand? But realistically, you don't really have to justify it, as long as, uh, that's what I'm saying, is that I do not give a shit what this anyone on Facebook girls thinks about me, because if you have to explain every single person in the comment section on YouTube or um, anybody that sells some nonsense about you, I mean, you're going to be basically full-time explainer. So, sometimes it's a good idea to reflect, you know, somebody says some bullshit, just think about it. Okay, have I heard this before? Most of the time you did. To be honest with you, but okay. So let's do the conclude. Okay, so the summary is self-esteem pumps. I love myself cookie jar. Do not care what the other people. Why? Because you need to analyze yourself and be your own judge. Use this tool. Now you can, if somebody tells you something that their thing calls blind spots. Sometimes you are just don't see it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like somebody tells you, if you hear it over and over and over, people keep telling you that, I don't know, you are bad at, I don't know, whatever. Cooking. If cooking is important to you and people keep telling you, oh my God, your cooking sucks, and it's important to you, you're probably not aware that your cooking sucks. All right? So that's something you need to work on. If you, if it's important to you. If somebody tells you, I don't know, they don't like the way you dress, one person, like, whatever, dude. <laughs> Do you know what I'm if you like the way you dress and most people tell you that you... But honestly, dressing... Like, I don't know. Well, let's just use an example. Whatever. If you like the way you look, most people say that you are neat. You are, like, you know, you, you, your appearance is very pleasing. And one person is telling you this, it's probably just trolling. So that's what I'm saying is that 99% of the time, a lot of this criticism is just trolling. But, I mean, you can see that in my comment section like the good good kids it's just it's like anyway i'm not gonna go down there it's just <laughs> it's hilarious all right so again self-esteem pumps i like myself cookie jar do not care what other people think analyze yourself but you can sometimes reflect on what people say and see is that true or false or only if it's important to you of course you know because most of the time it's just gonna be troll tra -la -la. Okay, take care, bye-bye.